Willie D. Live. Exactly, 79. And they got a crazy story, forget. too. Have you heard their story about their name getting took away and shit? I've heard some things. Wow, there's a, there, there was a documentary on how they got their name took, and then put some other dudes to be the Sugar Hill gang. You know what I'm saying? You know how motherfuckers yeah. do that shit? You be looking at band, oh, that ain't the same motherfucker. That's a different motherfucker right there. But they own the name. Uh, Sylvia the what label a, the label the owned the name Sil- Sil- was it Sylvia, Sylvia Robinson, Robinson? Yeah, yeah 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 she yeah right I heard there's, I heard there's like a that. documentary about give us our name back man when are you gonna do a documentary man I was just talking to a couple of people about that man because that'd be good I I'd definitely watch that yeah man because like I said all the stories I gave you when I first got here about the gas and the, the heroin balloons and I got so much more that if I sat down and write it out. From yeah. that to where I've got to right now, yeah, I've definitely. We talking to do documentary, something. really, really. You got a movie, yeah. You got a movie in you, yeah. But I think I want to do the documentary too. Do you ever see that TV show up. Unsung? Yeah, one of my favorite shows, Unsung. Yeah. So I kind of want to do that for myself, and kind of like how they did it. I like how I watched all, I watched every season of Unsung. Yeah, and that's how I want to kind of do mine. Right. But I got some shit. My shit's gonna have cussing and shit. In it. You know what I'm saying? My shit's gonna yeah. have. It ain't gonna be. Uh, so proper my shit's gonna have custom and, and like the real raw dog shit yeah cause like I said heroin to hip hop man that's that's what my life's about well that go to movie also I like that title I've always thought heroin about that title heroin to hip hop the story of Ronald <laughs> Ray Bryant yeah. aka baby. Bash yeah. baby Bash aka baby Beach <laughs> yep I got so that's many levels man. there's so many levels yeah. of my of my career cause I got signed with Profile Records, I don't know if you know this, but I used to hang around a group called In Too Deep. They had a song called Back to the Hotel. They were from Vallejo. We hung with them. Those was like our boys. They got to deal with Profile Records, who was also DJ Quig, Run DMC. Do you remember on the 12-inch records profile? So I hung with them, and I had a group called Pot and a Deuce. It was, we were some wild motherfuckers. So I had a group called Pot and a Deuce, and we got a deal. That was my first major deal was on Profile Records. In 94, and that's when I caught the rap bug for real. Mm-hmm. I used to just hang around rappers and talk shit, but when I caught, when I started writing shit and putting shit down, I got a record deal that quick. Imagine my very first demo. You know how back then people were cutting demos and shit? Back then you had to cut a demo tape, get a picture of you, like I called a headshot, a picture of you in the group, uh, write down a summary of why why you guys think you should get a record, and we would mail them out to fucking Big Beat Records, uh, Profile Records, all these record labels. Back then, you had to get a, I forgot what they called it, but you would mail them out to these record labels. The first demo I ever, ever rapped in my whole life, I never rapped in my life, the first song I ever rapped on had E-40 on it. So imagine, my first time I ever even thought about writing a rap, I did a song with E motherfucking 40. And at that time, E-40 wasn't on a major, E-40 was big on the underground. Hmm. And that's how fucking my shit started. With my first song was with E fucking forty. How'd you link up with JT the bigger figure? No, it was JT, not JT the bigger figure. It's JT oh. from Into Deep. Yeah, oh, JT okay. the bigger figure. Yeah, first, but JT from Into yeah. Deep. Uh, he, he's he's he. There was a couple of Mexican families in Vallejo, and his was one. Mine was one. Okay. They were the Trujillos. We were the Juarez, and they were the Garcias and the Angels. And kind of like our parents knew each other and hung around each other and you know dated each other and so we were kind of like cousins. Not blood cousins, but we kind of grew up as cousins. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. So he blew up. Uh, do you remember that song, In Too Deep, Back to the Hotel? It was a huge hit in 92, Back to the Hotel. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know if I know that really sound, and I'm, I'm, I don't know if that sound is just a, a, a sample from some other stuff. Or yeah, what, Public Enemy Music first, then In Too yeah. Deep, and then uh, Shake, Shake, uh, what was it? Shake It, Don't Break It, the... Uh, was the one shake it to me, shake it to Teddy Riley. You're talking uh, about the yeah, yeah, that's rump shaker, rump, rump shaker, yeah, 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 the rump shaker. So, but that little horn sound was back to the hotel. Okay, and they got the record deal, and then I started hanging around studios. I'm telling, I was playing basketball all the time, hanging around studios. That was my life. And they got a record deal, and I said, man, I could do this shit. And then uh, ten years later, I got my record. <laughs> it took me ten years, man. Well, man, you know they say good things come to those who wait, and as you was waiting, we were waiting too, man, and we are proud of you, man. We're proud that you did become a rapper and, and you know, put your stamp on everything. You know, yeah. you, you know your, your contribution has to be recognized, man. I appreciate you for coming over here and sharing it. your insight, man, and, and, and also sharing a piece of your story, man, your appreciate legacy. It. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, I, it's, 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 always a, it's always a great thing to hang out, hang out with you and ch- chop it up with you. I told you before how much... I like how you 
you talk the real shit, you stand up for it, you know what I mean? And 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 uh I still want you to be a uh, 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 congressman, man. We talked about that. Uh, you told me about okay, well I gotta wait a little bit because uh Wooty Whoop's over here and I gotta make sure to but yeah, uh it's always great to be on Willie D uh the Willie D Live. I mean, I liked how yeah. you're doing your podcast. You said doing a podcast now. I follow you on Instagram. I like to talk shit on Instagram. You know, sometimes I'm high as hell and you say some funny shit or some funny ass shit. I like to put some funny shit on. People get mad, but I don't give a fuck. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. Yeah. But you ain't no joke, man. You take this hell shit no. seriously, man. You know, and we appreciate you, man. It's Once all again, love. thank you for coming on the show. Yee! Ladies and gentlemen, baby bash. Arrah. Yeah. <laughs>